So that's the terrain for giving and volunteering to organizations. But we're also interested in how Canadians more generally are supporting one another, and so we ask Canadians to tell us about the extent to which they're helping others who live outside their home. So we're not talking about people who are within the homes, we're not talking about whether uh, someone has gone shopping for the groceries this, uh, this week or this day, but it's whether you've helped somebody outside of your house. 85% of Canadians did that. 60% uh, helped with the chores around the home. It could be cleaning, it could be yard work. 53% uh, provided health-related or personal care. 47% shopping or driving someone to an apartment. Then we have paperwork, teaching, coaching, uh, and then a large other category. In terms of the frequency, the two top uh, most frequent activities are teaching, coaching, or tutoring, and health-related or personal care. 11% of uh, Canadians are providing that support on a daily or near daily basis. And when you look at the provincial variations, it's very consistent. And notice that some of the provinces that may have been lower in volunteering or giving are now almost the same in terms of direct help, Quebec and other provinces. Uh, which is just an indication, again, as, as we we try to look at this, is that people choose, I have a variety of ways at their disposal to choose how to support one another. Some choose to give money, some choose to volunteer, some choose to help. That being said, there, these activities are all related. In fact, people who give are more likely to volunteer and vice versa. People who volunteer are more likely to provide direct help to one another than people who do not. And the more that one engages in those activities, the more, uh, the more intense those activities are. So that if someone gives and volunteers, the number of hours they're giving and the average donation is larger than those who do even a single thing. So we're starting to see the cluster of behaviors uh, and that when people engage in it, they engage in it significantly. We've pointed out that there's a thin base of support for those who donate and those who volunteer, that we're relying on a small segment of our population for each of those activities looked at individually. But it's important to realize that people are doing the same activities and in fact 59% of all donations and 40% of all volunteers came from the same 14% of Canadians. So 14% of Canadians are giving us both the 40% of volunteer hours and the 59% of dollars. And as I was pointing out, they are not entirely representative of the population. They have distinct characteristics. So just to quickly summarize, and this is intended to be really a quick tease of the results and, a, and an encouragement for you to look into the report, which, uh, which, has a, which has a lot more detail within it. Our quick snapshot here is, first of all, as we've seen in the past, almost all Canadians give. It is a, a Canadian activity. This is something that we do as Canadians. Uh, and by the way, this, isn't, uh, this, isn't, this doesn't hold in every country in the world. It is part of the, a Canadian characteristic. Uh, we have uh, had modest growth in donations, but the picture on volunteering is very stable. If you do look a little bit at some of the provincial variations or at some of the causes, you may find some very slight variations, but they're not, uh, they're not substantial. We have, uh, in 2007, uh, confirmation again of how important about how important youth engagement is in these activities. And I think that this, uh, we hope this will support efforts to try and think about how to, how to expose young Canadians to giving, to volunteering. One of the clear channels that this has been done in the past is through affiliation in, with religious organizations and religious activity. And you see in this, and you'll see in the report that those who are religiously active are much more likely to give, they're much more likely to volunteer. Their volunteer hours don't all go to religious organizations, they support a variety of causes. Um, but participation in religious organizations, religious activity, is declining over time. And as that declines, the question remains, how will we expose young Canadians to these values? Because the values, the core beliefs of all of the major religions have notions of charity, philanthropy, and helping. So this is key for us. And then, the last is, the, of course, just the small core of Canadians who drive everything. Now, this is kind of always the way. In any small group, some people pull more of their load than others, but we would encourage Canadians to take a look around at who's pulling their load in their communities 
and offer to help out with that. And we, uh, we're hoping that we can see some improvement in that when we return next time with these results. So that's our quick review of the highlights. We do have time for some questions, where, uh, so I can open the floor for that if anybody has any.